Okay, so we're into another day and as you can see here, I'm using old bits of masking tape that was around the bike to uh, cover up some stuff here that I'm going to use um, to get some kind of an edge. around this sign. I know it's only because with it being so close this is going to be a little bit sharper than it will be up there uh, although I still don't want it a hundred percent sharp because the sharpness is just going to come from the rider. The beauty of using this particular airbrush is that I can keep the paint there isn't much left in here and this is why I just want to get this sign finished off. There isn't much left in here uh, but I know that it's going to be exactly the same colour as I've done all the way along. And it will keep for quite a while. The biggest problem I'm having at the moment is the fact that it's so cold that it doesn't take long for the heat in the garage to get greater than the heat outside and then we start to get condensation on the tin. So I've only to do so much and then I've got to leave it. First night I was actually shown that. So anyway, we're going to fill this in now, darken it up a bit. Okay, we'll leave that for a second. Okay, so you can see what I've actually done is marked out where we've got the walls, the road goes around this way we've got some stone wall up at the top and down here and I've put in a little bit of dark because I'm going to be putting in uh, the landscape and I know there's good, it's going to be patchy so what I've done is put in a few bits of dark I've also masked off where I'm going to put the people, the spectators and the sign is there uh, and I've just put in a few dark bits on this side. So we're going to mix up now a little bit of green and we'll start and go light to dark. Um, it is uh, Auto Air Colours. This is a transparent apple green and we're going to start with this one and then once we've got some in we'll start to put a little bit more dark into it. And uh, it should start to come to life a bit. Bear with me, uh, we'll get a bit more done and then I'll get back to you. Okay, thanks. Right, there we are for today. Uh, the mountainsides, the moorland, the house at the top, the space where the people are going to go and the sign is in there. Someone stood this side of it. These have to be coloured. Yeah, I think it's orange or yellow, like I said. Uh, and then I'm going to sit down and start to do this. This is going to take a hell of a lot longer than what I've just put in because I wanted that to be blurred. It makes it so easy that you don't really have to do a lot of masking. And when we come to do this, I want this to be sharp. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Jack. This is Airbrush Ways. Or, if you're looking at it from the motorbike side of things, thanks for watching. I'm Jack. And thanks for being out with Jack. Alright, chat to you soon. Good luck. Okay, so we're going to start on this. And uh, what I've looked at while it's in this state is the fact that uh, this isn't much different in colour to that. So I'm just going to fade this out slightly.
Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Jack. This is Airbrush Ways. Or if you're looking at it from the motorbike side of things, thanks for watching. I'm Jack, and thanks for being out with Jack. All right, chat to you soon. Good luck.